Howdy y'all, Dr. K here. It is Wednesday, January 18th. First of all, happy Wednesday. Reminder, what day is it? Wednesday, Wednesday. First threaded discussion post due before you go to bed tonight. Okay? Almost everything has currently got feedback in the Grade Center. Go and look. Please, I am begging you on bended knee. Don't just look at the numbers. The numbers are shorthand. There is information inside each one of those areas for you. For your journal, there is a video. If you can't see the video, try going through another browser, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, whatever you got. So if you first can't view that video, just try another browser. If it really doesn't play in a browser, Occasionally, somebody's got some weird security settings and you can't see my videos. Email me. I'll put it in a Google Drive. You can access it that way, okay? Uh, for the threaded discussions, it's week one. I am empathetic. I treat week one with the threaded discussions from a very um, gentle, learning, formative perspective. So don't just look at the number. Read the comment I wrote you, and there is an embedded rubric. Click to see what you would have gotten point-wise if I were being seriously hardcore with the rubric, which I will be going forward. Not because evil is my middle name, although some people believe it is, um, and do not ask to see my birth certificate. Uh, it's because each one of those criterion is specific and meaningful for your growth and understanding. Okay, let's be very clear. Some of the things people tend to miss, especially at the beginning, the first post you always need to have a great question. And you'll see some of your peers did it. And those are the conversation threads that really got rich engagement. Why? Because we all start with the same content. We all start with the same prompt, right? But that's a starting place. Those questions that you ask, and the best practice is to write your response to the prompt and then step back, reread what you've just written, and take a moment. What more is there? What does this mean to me? How does this apply to me? What would I really like to know? You as an individual, right? You as an individual, your diverse needs, your diverse interests, bring it into the learning process with this question. So grab it. At the end is always the best place to do it. If it's somewhere else in the threaded post, okay. But that first post, the one on topic, don't forget that question. A lot of people forgot to bring in an outside resource somewhere throughout the week in a response or in that initial post. Why? To help you as an individual bridge school and the real world, to find those connections, to see how this relates to what's really out there, to start building a resource library. And very often it is a resource shared by a peer that offers a different perspective to where we're going and what we're thinking about and trying to come to some depth of understanding of, That's it speaks to somebody else in the class in a way that maybe the original content didn't. There's no one way to think about how a specific aspect of a topic is meaningful for you. Those outside resources are huge and so crucial. Please do not forget them, all right? So please, Threaded discussions, read the comment, and look at your rubric. There is feedback on everything. Okay, so here we are, week two. We have our live meeting this week. Woohoo! I get to talk to you live. Couple of things. Number one, notice, right? It's not just because I want to do my airport traffic controller. Come on back, come on back. No, although blue is such an awesome color. Please make sure you have your headsets or your earbuds plugged in before you enter the room, before you click to enter the room. It's kind of like a cognitive overload issue. If you plug it in after you've come in, sometimes your computer doesn't want to see it. Now, if your computer is a laptop or a tablet, 
I'm sure you have a built-in microphone. If you're working off a desktop, you may need to be sure that the headset or the earbuds you're using have a microphone built in, which most of them do nowadays, but not all of them. If you don't have a mic, drugstores sell them, sports stores now sell, so that you can, you know, plug it in and keep running or working out and still be able to talk on the telephone. You really want to have a headset or earbuds that have a microphone. We don't want to use the telephone. I will only turn the telephone on if we absolutely have an audio crash. But if we use the telephone, I can't do breakout rooms. So then we'll all be in one room at the same time instead of being able to break out into pairs or small groups. Please log in 10 minutes before meeting starts so we can check all the audio, make sure everybody's good. When you log in, I'll say, hey, George, please turn on your mic and say hello. Let's troubleshoot if we have to. That's why we want to log in 10 minutes early. I know you guys are busy. I know this is taking time out of your lives. Me too. So we want to use the time that we have allotted to actually do stuff, not stand around and troubleshoot audio. Okay? Uh, I will log in 15 minutes early, make sure everything is set. You please log in 10 minutes early. Tell your family not to be using the Wi-Fi. Don't be on the Internet. You're going to want all the bandwidth. You are allowed to be selfish. Blame it on your professor. My professor said, get off the computer. Now, when you click to log in, it might take a moment to load. Okay. And again, if you have any problems, try another browser. You may need to switch from Chrome to Safari to Firefox or anywhere in there. You're going to see a login page that's going to say sign in as a guest and name. Put your name in that box. Don't type in guest. <laughs> it's like Animal House when they were asking them to take the pledge and they said, repeat after me, I state your name. And all the guys go, I state your name. Don't do that. Name, box, type your name. <laughs> And if anybody actually types the words, your name, in that box, seriously, okay, don't do that. Type your actual, authentic name. <laughs> you don't have an account. You guys come in as a guest. Faculty have accounts. Oy vey, lucky us. So when you come in, at the top, you will see an icon. I guess I need to turn the audio on so you can see it. Jeepers. Okay, you'll see this icon, the microphone. You have to turn it on. White means it's not on yet. You have to click. Notice how it turned green. Notice how when I'm speaking, there's little sound bars, which means it's picking it up. Okay, anybody else in this room now should be able to hear me. Considering how loud I am, people in other houses are probably hearing me right now too. Notice over here in this corner, those, oh, you can't see it. Hold on, let me move that over. Sorry. Notice in the upper right-hand corner, there are status bars. It should be green. It means that your Wi-Fi is strong. If it's yellow, yell at your family to get off the computer. If it's yellow, make sure you've closed your email. You've closed any other windows you may have in the background. Notice there will be a chat box. If you're having any audio problems or throughout the meeting, I may ask questions and say, come on, guys, what do you think? Give me a yes, give me a no, give me an up, give me a down. You simply type in and hit the return key. Booyah. Everybody can see it. Nobody can see when you're typing. We get a notification that Dr. K is typing, but we can't see what you're typing till you hit send. If you're trying to write something that's long, a mini manifesto. Here's the protocol. Blah, blah, blah. I really love what we're talking about. I think this is awesome, but here's what I'm worried about. Dot, dot, dot. Send. The dot, dot, dot tells the rest of us you're not done with your thought. So rather than taking, because remember, it's an online environment. If I see for eight minutes that George is still typing his comment, I think either 
George's computer has frozen, or George's cat is sitting on the keyboard, <laughs> which happens. <laughs> I love when that happens. Um, and then we get these kinds of brilliant comments. So I say this with good humor because I've been through this a million times. It's not so funny when you've had a long day at work and you're exhausted and you really want to get the most out of the 90 minutes that you have with the class and the faculty person, and this is what you get. So those are some basic norms. If it's a long comment, dot, 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 send, then go back to writing more. It's all good. Notice one more thing. You will see this. You won't see the video camera. I won't be turning them on, so don't worry. You don't have to put on makeup and look fabulous. I won't. Why should you? <laughs> okay. You'll notice that there's also this icon with the little guy. When you click on that, you see you have a host of shortcut communications. If I have a question, I raise my hand. It will come up over on the sidebar next to my name, right? And see how you can tell I'm talking, blah, blah, blah. My mic is moving. When I say please mute your mics, which after we do a sound check, please do so that we don't get tons of background noise and feedback drama, whatever. Here's how you mute your mic. Remember how I clicked it to turn it on? If I simply click it again, boom. See how it's got the slash? That means I'm muted. Some people are like, oh, that's too clumsy. I don't want to do that. I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. Notice the little triangle. If you click on the little triangle, you can say, mute my mic. You can do it that way as well. 